Which one I got? This is from my boy Trevor. Uh, do yourself a favor. Stop on over and check out Trevor's channel. Let's see what we got from Trevor. Uh, I'm just finished doing a custom for Trevor. He had sent me one of his old racing champions. Uh, Chevy C10 trucks. So, um... Trevor says... Just a little thank you. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, look at that. This would mark my first Burago. A Ferrari. F12 Berlinetta. Probably just butchered that. That is sweet. Oh, yes. Yep. Look at that. I've actually been on the hunt for this pink series. Um, not able to find it. Thank you very much, Trevor. Much appreciated. This is the uh, 1966 Dodge Charger Gasser. Look at that. What do you look at that? Yeah, just look at it. <laughs> Thank you very much, Trevor. Much appreciated. Trevor is uh, very supportive of my channel and has been from pretty much day one for me. Much appreciated. Thank you, Trevor. Next. Anybody recognize that name? It's the president. This box is from the president of the Diecast community. Um, I cleared that with him, made sure he wasn't offended that I uh, constantly call him that. And uh, two other other guys that may or may not know, guys, girls, whatever, go check out Mr. Hewitt's. Got a note from Mr. Hewitt. It says, here you go, buddy. A few cars I wanted to send to you. Hope you like them. Thank you for all of your support, brother, and cars. So many cars now. Thank you. I mean, you need to start signing it, Mr. President. Just saying. Much appreciated. Bad man's gasser. Check that out. I like it. Thank you very much. Uh. Let's see what we got. Oh. Look at that. And for whatever reason, we do not get any matchbox moving parts in any of the retail stores around me for whatever reason and uh i appreciate you listening i guess i complained so many times about it that he actually has sent me a few he sent me some last week too or two weeks ago i appreciate that so much i we never get these the 63 c10 pickup i love it i am a truck guy my daily driver is a f-250 I have a whole fleet of F-250s. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. Ah, another milk truck. Look at that. The, the Divco. Love these moving parts. I really, I don't understand. I don't understand why we don't ever get them. But I really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Like add needs to my collection. It's not what he had told me he was going to send me. What else have we got in here? Oh, wow. Yes. You know what's funny? I actually had this in my hand at the store one time. And I put it back. 
the uh, Hostess Twinkies 1960 Volkswagen delivery van. A cool combi, I guess, if you will. Funny. I really, I had this in my hand one time and I put it back and I hadn't seen it since. Was not expecting this. Much appreciated. Um, most of you guys already know Mr. Hewitt's, but um, like I said, do yourself a favor and uh, go check him out. Unbelievable custom work. The man does unbelievable. Oh, look at this. This is a newer moving parts one. The 63 C10 pickup. Like, I greatly appreciate Like, I can't even... Like I said, I don't understand why we don't ever re get these around here. Um, but thank you so much. I really like the looks of this one. I like the new packaging too, by the way. What else do we have down here? Ah, yes. Yes, this is the one and the only one I was actually... We talked about this one. And uh, this is the only thing, only thing I thought he was going to be sending me. The 1976 Chevy Scottsdale Custom. I again, it's funny. I had told him one of the local car shows, uh, diecast shows that I attend. I picked this up and wanted to buy it, but uh, couldn't come to an agreement on the price with the gentleman that was. Uh, selling he wanted way too much and um, You know when you go into these die cash shows I have a certain amount of money set aside and uh, I try and spend only that amount and uh, <laughs> For whatever reason, you know things work out because now I have it in my hand Thank you to mr. Hewitt's El Presidente Really appreciate it, guys. And uh, let me know what you think. I got a lot of guys wanting me to hang out and continue my voice, guys and girls wanting to hear me. Um, so I don't know, we'll give it a whirl. Let's see. This is uh, a Nova custom gasser I had been working on. Lighting is horrible. I'm sorry. I'll figure that out someday as well. But, uh, I don't know. I'm, I don't know what it is about myself. Every custom that I do, I don't like the looks of it. I beat myself up a little too much. I think. I don't know. Let me let me know what you guys think. I can't really tell. I did detail the uh, fuel cell inside there. Painted up, you know, I, I gotta figure out lighting too, guys, girls, guys and girls, just everyone, okay? Everyone, in general, die cast family. Did he, uh, did a little shopping with the wife too. So, um, yeah, this is what we got. I, we'll never leave a gasser behind. Another 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser Guster. I like it. I haven't brought myself to uh, take one of these apart. Actually, the very first one I ever got was from Trevor. So, again, Trevor. Do, you, do yourselves a favor, guys. Go, go and look up Trevor. one here huh he had 1967 Chevy c60 truck with the 1985 Chevy Camaro IROC uh, funny thing about this one is um, I had this one in my hand and um, it was a B&M Mustang 
gasser. And uh, I said to my wife, which which one? She actually went back and forth and then picked, uh, picked the old Camaro. So we went with that one. And actually not bad, you know? Not a bad looking casting. And then, um, actually when we were walking, walking out, she had spotted a case of M2 that were hidden. Uh, and I was able to score this one out of it. 57 Chevy Bel Air. Nice gasser. This one looks really nice, actually. But, uh, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. The clown too boring for you? I don't really care, actually. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, yeah, so let me know what everybody thinks about the uh, custom work that I do. You know, this lighting is horrible, guys. Sorry. I'll figure that out as well. Um, in closing, just I would like to say a special thank you to Trevor. Uh, thank you very much for all your continuous support. Uh, thank you very much for my very first Burago as well. And, uh, like I said, I've been on the hunt for that pink series, and that's the only one I have, so thank you for that. And, um, a special thank you to Mr. Hewitt. Um, for whatever reason, like I said, we don't get moving parts around here, and, uh, I guess Mr. Hewitt's heard my complaint. And, uh, he came through for me. And I'd like to mention, too, that Trevor actually sent me some moving parts as well. So, thank you to both of you guys. Um, really, I greatly appreciate it. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think of the custom work. And thank you guys once again. Do yourselves a favor. Go on over and check out Trevor and uh, Mr. Hewitt as well. Clown Nation, out.